My name is Wayne Furphy and I'm the chairman of the St. Francis Property Owners Association as well as the chairman of the St. Francis Property Owners Non-for-Profit Company, which is the SRA. What I'd like to describe to you today is the difference between the association on the one hand and the NPC or the SRA on the other. There's a lot of confusion about the two organizations. When we started some four years ago, uh, with the then St. Francis Bay Rate uh, Residents Association being the Rate Pairs Association. We're advised to, to, to put in place uh, a unique and strong brand if we uh, had any hope really of restoring uh, the infrastructure in this town. And that is why we adopted the, the name of uh, SFPS St. Francis Property Owners. Primarily because it's the property owners who are invested uh, in their properties and who pay the rates. The association is a stock standard rate payers association and the point of a rate payers association is to help you as rate payers and as property owners to interact with the municipality. If you're having problems like there have been a lot of problems with occupational certificates, with bush clearing, with uh, picking up uh, paving outside your home when a water pipe needs to be replaced or needs to be repaired and so on. And many of you don't, don't live in St. Francis Bay and find it quite difficult engaging with the municipality. And that's what we're here for. Lynn Aiken is our, is our uh, admin manager and she's the one that, that uh, many of you um, have called and should call to deal with, with these issues. So the Ratepayers Association is there to deal with all your ongoing uh, uh, interactions with the municipality. We as, rate pay, as, as a rate paying association also sit on the ward committee, in our case it's Ward 12, which is St. Francis Bay, and there's a few other um, towns like Paradise Beach that are part of that. And that is one of our channels for uh, managing and monitoring the, the, uh, the municipality's service delivery performance and the upgrade of infrastructure in our town. The other is direct meetings with uh, officials and municipal manager and mayor and, and, and other councillors, which we do on a regular basis around specific issues. For example, the, uh, uh, the emergency work on the spit is one of those. Uh, so that's what the Ratepayers Association role is. It, it is a voluntary membership, whereas let's move now to the NPC, non-for-profit company, which governs the SRA. When we applied for an SRA, uh, we were required to set up a, a, an MPC to receive the levy. We had already set that MPC up because we had been on a donation drive uh, since 2016 where we raised four and a half million that really got uh, a lot of the work that we were doing uh, on the roads, on the cameras and on the beach uh, off, off the ground. An MPC is a, is, a, is, a, is a company and it's uh, run by a board of directors. And the board of directors are elected on a, as they are, um, as are the uh, committee members on the association every two years. Uh, so the NPC is governed by the Companies Act and as such um, we are uh, required to, to comply with, with company law as well as under the SRA with the municipals uh, municipalities finance agreement and SRA um, bylaw and policy. So hopefully that's kind of cleared up what the difference between the two uh, organizations are. Uh, there's a lot of um, obviously interaction between the two. There's a number of us that sit on both the committee and on the NPC. Uh, the membership of the NPC uh, is an automatic membership as a property owner. You have the right to vote. Uh, whereas the membership of the association is voluntary and we would, um, uh, we would really ask you to, to, to join that as well.